assalamu alaikum students today we are going to start our chapter number 3 of first term the chapter name is try again this is a poem and it is written by w e hickson in this poem the poet has given us a great lesson of life that try again if you want to achieve your goals in life so students uh, i would like to mention that uh, you are supposed to learn the summary of this poem and uh, don't learn the translation of this poem because in board exams uh, usually translation of poems are not given so uh, you all will learn the summary of this poem that will be better for you to understand but to make you understand the basic concept i am going to explain the stanzas of this poem let's start our first stanza this poem highlights the importance of trying again and should not get frustrated so in the start the poet says that if we face failure in our life we should try again and again to be successful because once a person keeps on working then god gives him reward when you become steadfast or determined you can get everything which you want because if you put struggle for getting over high goals and targets so nothing can be impossible you can get everything you know failure is the first step of success you should not be afraid of losing anything just be hopeful and give your best try again and again to attain your targets and trust in god who is the benefactor of mankind because god always likes those people who struggles very hard in their lives and always try to achieve the goals see the second stanza failure is natural and common it's not a matter of shame what does it mean in this stanza poet says if one person fails after one or two trials if you keep on trying again and again then at last you would prevail you will achieve the targets of life if you strive or attempt and fails it is not the matter of disgrace or humiliation you need to try again and again until you succeed girls we have already read a story of king robert bruce in which he learned a lesson from an insect spider that how the little spider tried many times to reach its cobweb after many trials finally he became successful so the spider has given us a great lesson of life he didn't give up hope and he tried again and again so if a little spider can do a lot of efforts then why can't we do so we need to follow this example and this lesson third stanza the tasks or of life are difficult but perseverance and struggle make it easy in the last stanza the poet says that the journey of life is not a bed of roses if you find your targets of life difficult to achieve don't give up try again and again then you will see that time will bring you reward because god has promised to grant to do those people who work hard and try again 
for getting their goals you should realize this thing that if others can do a lot then why you can't all the people should make full use of their qualities which are given by god because god has given many qualities to the mankind and now it is up to the people that how they take the advantages and how they make full use of all the qualities let's do the exercise of this chapter so the first figure of speech is simile what is simile an expression comparing one thing with another always including the words as or like i would say it is a comparison between two dissimilar things that have certain qualities in common but these two things belong to different classes it's very easy to identify the simile in the sentences because we always use like and as for simile basically we resemble one thing to another thing due to some quality see the first example you were as brave as a lion like you is resembled with the lion and both have the same qualities what quality both are strong bold see the next example they fought like cats and dogs they fought like cats and dogs he is as funny as a barrel of monkeys because monkeys always make uh, people happy so funny is used in the same sense so we have used as funny as this house is as clean as a whistle he is as strong as an ox because he is being resembled with an ox the next figure of speech is alliteration what is alliteration alliteration is a term to describe a literary device in which a series of words begin with the same consonant sound alliteration word comes from latin word latija which means letters of alphabets alliteration depends on sounds not on words keep this point in your mind students alliteration depends on sounds not on words like paypal william wordsworth american airlines mickey mouse etc etc alliteration always creates a musical effects in poetry which attracts or amuses the reader it also becomes the reading more attractive for the children so due to alliteration children can learn a lot of poems by heart see the example Sally sells seashells by the seashore so you can see easily in this example Sally sells seashells because all the sounds are same so this is called alliteration the fair breeze blew the white foam flew breeze blew both have the same sound foam flew this is also the alliteration so i hope students you have learnt a lot after watching this video and uh, i would suggest to solve your exercise on book by your own after getting the basic points from this video and i hope uh, you will learn the summary of this poem because it is very necessary for you 